What up everyone, and welcome again to my channel. This is Art Diced from BCH Guild, and for today's video we are presenting a guide for new players, both for free to play and VIP. So first off, as a new player I would suggest not to instantly purchase a VIP for this game. Let me walk you through the first impressions of the game as F2P, then you decide for yourself when to purchase. Because for me, if you want to invest long term in this game, you need a VIP. You will be left out in terms of progression and rewards if you remain F2P forever. Especially with the new update they released last April 11, Taskboard algorithm has been adjusted and the pixel rewards for F2P and VIP has now been split to 3070. That means F2P players will still get pixel rewards in the Taskboard and VIP will get more. The effects of the update was immediately felt by our friends in the BCH guild and was apparent in the pixels chat section of our discord. So now let's start. I made a new account for a more accurate visual presentation, so please pixel team don't ban me. Upon entering the first part of the game, there will be a short tutorial on planting and consuming crops for energy. But please don't do this in game. Don't consume your crops. There will be a more effective method to gain energy, and I will include that in this guide. Now we're in Terra Villa, the first thing we need to do is talk to Dale, and he will give us our first quest. He will ask us to go to Bucks Galore and talk to Hazel. But before we go out of this building, let's change our ugly avatar. There, much better. Don't be intimidated by this place. Terra Villa looks surprisingly large at first, and you might get overwhelmed or confused onto which location you should go. While completing the quests, you will be familiarized with the locations of different establishments and NPC. So just take your time and explore the game. So here is the location of the Bucks Galore. Let's go inside and talk to Hazel to complete our first quest. First quest is complete, now she's asking us to help out Jill cut some trees for our second quest. It would help to take note on quest details such as NPC names and locations to avoid getting lost. After talking to Jill, she will give us an axe so we can chop down these trees. You can cut down the stump, but this is not advisable, since trees grows a lot faster if you leave the stump. After chopping the trees will drop softwoods that can be used as a crafting material for the woodworking industry that lets you level up your woodworking skill by crafting different items. After Jill's quest, we've now unlocked the cooking with Karen and Sticks and Planks quest. Since we're already in this location, let's complete the Sticks and Planks quest first. Go to the east side of Terra Villa and look for Stan Stolar near the woodworking bench. Here we are asked to craft eight sticks and craft again into a stool. After crafting the stool, we need to deliver this to Old Man Gurney. Since we're already near the post office, let's go inside and claim our free random item. You can come here and claim items every 24 hours. There is also a free storage on the top right where you can store your unused items to free up some space in your inventory. Let's go back outside and deliver the stool to Old Man Gurney. After delivering the stool, head back to Stan to finish the quest. You will notice by now that these quests are sort of introductions to some resources, tools, or industries that we need to interact for the purpose of level progression. The more levels we gain, the more we unlock advanced crafting or crops. Look at that. Our woodworking skill is now level 1, and we've unlocked a new item in the crafting menu. For our next quest, Let's head north to a tiny house to find Karen. She will give us two pot berries and one cooking mix. This is the recipe to cook one pot berry pie. Click the stove to begin cooking. This will take 25 seconds to finish. Claim the pot berry pie, then talk to Karen to finish the quest.
Let's go to the carnival and claim our free orange grumpkin and cotton candy seeds. We'll use these later after leveling our farming skill. After claiming the carnival seeds, go east of Terra Villa and locate the guild castle. Here we need to complete all three YGG quests. Talk to player W3 to trigger the first quest, then go outside and look for the magnifying glass. Go back to the castle and talk to player W3 to finish the quest. After that, walk towards Luke and talk to him to trigger the second quest. Teleport to Terra Villa and go to the post office. Use the magnifying glass on the upper right window of the building and you will get the mysterious fingerprint. Head back to the guild, hand this over to Luke, he will give you the Pixel's HQ key and this will finish the second quest. For the last quest, talk to Gabby and fast travel to Terra Villa. Head inside the Pixel's HQ building, talk to Doug and Victoria, then use the key to unlock the elevator. Go inside the elevator and this will take you down the dungeon. Collect all Cognium and use the magnifying glass in this spot to gain the power pixel. Fast travel back to Terra Villa, go back to Gabby to complete the last quest. Completing the last quest will grant you 300 reputation points. This is crucial, since we need to reach a total of 501 points so we can sell in the marketplace. The key progression in this game is to be able to sell in the marketplace to gain profit increase our coins to have the ability to invest in other industries and unlock new crafting materials and menu. You can check your current reputation points in the dashboard. Here it shows that the 300 points is already reflected in my account. This is not enough since we need around 501 points to access the marketplace. So what do we need to do to reach 501? There's a reputation calculator in Tribally that we can use to determine what other options we need. Let's check this out. I will link this site in the description for easy access. The age of the account can also add to our reputation points. The older the account, the higher the points. VIP can give you an instant 1500 points that unlocks the marketplace and limited P2P trading. Let's check the YGG Guild Super Quest since we already completed this and it gives us 300 points. If we connect our Discord, this will give us 200 for a total of 500 points. Since we need 501, we just need to do either phone, email, or Twitter. After connecting my Discord and Twitter, the points may take a few seconds or minutes to reflect. Let's do some other tasks while waiting. Now we're done with the basic quests and account setup. It's time to plant some pot berries and make some coin. Go to this building and click the Infina portal. Here we can fast travel to different lands. Let's enter one of BCH Guildlands 2474. Let's plant all 18 potberry seeds. After gathering, let's go back to Terra Villa and sell these in the marketplace. Let's sell our potberries for 34 coins. This will give us 550 coins with 10% market fee already deducted. Take note that this is not the same for VIP. While F2P has a 10%, VIP has only 1% market fee deduction. But let's check our mail. Our pop berries are relatively easy to sell in the lowest price. Let's claim our coins. And now we've increased our coins from 30 to 580. I still have so many energy left. Let's buy more seeds and plant more pop berries. This time we'll go to another BCH land, 3368. Let's bookmark this land so we can fast travel here later anytime we want. Let's go to the neighboring land so we can plant more to increase our productivity. Now let's go back to Terra Villa and plant our orange grumpin and cotton candy seeds at the carnival. Take note that grumpkin seeds needs to be watered again after an hour. If you don't do this, your grumpkins will die and you will need to replant them again. Let's go to Bucks Galore and buy some cooking mix. Instead of selling all of our potberries, we'll cook a portion into potberry pies. 
I will consume this to regain some energy. This way I can keep on planting, leveling up both farming and cooking at the same time. Repeating this rotation will increase your farming and cooking levels, and also increases your coins. Eventually you will have more coins to invest in other industries. I would suggest investing in queen bees to place an apiary, gather more honey in preparation for winemaking. Winemaking is really good for the unlimited energy meta, but you will need to level it up first to unlock more recipes. Investing in chickens to be placed in coops is also good once you unlock more recipes for cooking. However, this rotation is in no way unlimited for now, since you have a limited energy and food will not be enough to regain lost energy. Eventually you will run out will have to go to sauna to rest and regenerate. VIP will have a huge advantage because of the additional 400 instant energy every 8 hours. More energy means faster grinding. If this video has been helpful for you, I would appreciate the like and the sub. And if you have more questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. You can ask in Tagalog, Bisaya, or English, whichever you prefer. I might make a video where I can answer with an in-game visual demonstration. Before we end this video, a huge shout out to all members of our Facebook group, Pixels PH Community, and also to our beloved BCH Guild, BCH number one. That's it for this video, guys. Once again, this is Art Diced, and I'll see you on the next one.